this one. Check, check. There we go. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome on. Tiffany here of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Would love to have you as part of our community. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, I am a full-time costume and prop fabricator as well as educator here on YouTube. And today we are doing a live crafting stream. We typically do those every Mondays and Wednesdays, and we are working on the image down here, which is the Lady Thor Jane Foster, which um, I did see the movie this weekend, so yeah. <laughs> but uh, hi everyone, hi Cliff, uh, Wizard, Caspian, Angry, and anybody else that is watching, lurking, or watching the VOD later, hello, hello. For those that are still on Instagram, go to YouTube, because that's actually where I'm streaming. Okay, thanks. But yeah, um, uh, if you missed our last stream, we worked on the hammer, and if you haven't seen, the hammer is finished. It's nice and squishy. I do wish I had, like, did, like, a squeaky toy thingy in it, because I think that'd be hilarious. I think that was a Cliff's idea? Was it? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? But yeah, so, I'm really happy with it, um, and there'll be a tutorial on that. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, today we're going to be doing a lot of gluing of small, tiny, tiny pieces. Uh, um, it's been a lot of hand cutting out a little itty bit of pieces and then taping them and then gluing and then, yeah, so. Should hopefully go by pretty quick, but we've got um, the shoes I already have prepped to go. And then we have parts on the helm to do next, the like wing parts. Uh, I don't have the full helm pattern made yet. I gotta figure that out because I gotta do it. It's always tricky to do helms, especially if you have to wear a wig. So I always like to do that once I get my wig in and it's still coming in the mail. So I'll figure that out and we'll go from there. But yeah, um, and if we get through that, then we can work on the belt. I just finished cutting that thing right there. Um, the belt out of leather, and then we'll start carving it if we get to that today. If not, I'm still gonna work on it today after the stream, so yeah. <laughs> but I uh, hope everybody is doing well. A happy Monday to everybody. Uh, hi, Rilla, welcome on. Let me see. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yep, I like my dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, wait, I make my own streams? Or I mean, I make, make my own streams. I make my own cosplays? Since when? I know, I know, I know. Um, so yeah. But let me switch over and we can get started. I'll be basically wearing a respirator all day and enjoying the lovely... Ooh, it says it's only 90 today. Um, it's been like a hundred and something every day, so it's not as miserably hot yet. Yet. <laughs> so yeah, um, and again, I'll have the patterns available once I'm done with uh, the costume. But boot covers, top and bottom. I've already labeled each individual part to make it a lot easier for me to know which one goes where. And of course, I've already traced it, so we'll be doing that. Uh, not too much sanding, it's all just light sanding. Normally for two millimeter foam, I hate the look of just like straight cut foam, even small pieces, because it just looks so, it doesn't look as realistic, especially with metal, because metal, when they like solder the pieces together, it wouldn't, be straight you'd still like do the edges and stuff but um this one I, I don't want to sand all these tiny little pieces uh so yeah but they're ready to glue I've already put them in order they're already labeled so it should be a lot easier for me to just loop loop so yeah um I guess we're ready yeah <laughs> But uh, let me go ahead and close the door so that way, it oh, by the way, uh, Fluff had her vet appointment this morning. She's doing okay, so I went for her ear. She's always had problems with her ear and they gave me some medicine. She does not like the medicine whatsoever. She has to do like three drops in each ear twice a day. Um, and then she has a follow-up appointment in two weeks. But 
they said she seems fine. Um, so yeah, good news on on the fluffles. Okay. <laughs> which is Anime Matsuri. It is not this weekend, but it is next weekend, and I'm a guest for that one. So I'll probably post the announcement like today or tomorrow. So yeah. Hi, Shadow Monk. Welcome on. How are you? <laughs> All right. That sounds the respirator. And for those that are still on Instagram, I'm actually streaming on youtube.com slash cosplay. So leave this platform, go to YouTube, you get a much better view because there's like actually a camera right overhead and a camera right over here. Um, and I'll, I'll talk to you in chat then. Yeah. Honey Grove Cosplay, how are you? It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Kitty is almost annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Foot. Welcome on. Alrighty. Let us begin. Remember, respirator, contact scent glue, windows are open, yada yada, safety, safety. Oh. Yeah, my little trick for small pieces is always put it on tape to hold it down. And it makes it a lot easier so your hands don't get glued and they don't move around. Yeah, how was everybody's weekend? I spent one of my days with my family, which is good. And saw the Thor movie. I thought it was good and funny. Um, I won't do any spoilers. It's a, a good entertainment movie. this video while it is live. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Love to have you as part of the community. Oh, that's what I didn't do. I need to change one thing after I'm finished with this. To make it a little bit easier. Had a fight with COVID. It was not fun. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you feeling any better now? I hope you're all, all healed up. Yeah, with all of my traveling lately, I didn't have COVID, but I definitely had like, was feeling a little, a little down. I think just in general, too many people. And I'm not like, I'm not used to seeing so many people all the time. So it's just meh. too much interaction, needed some time to heal. Uh, I missed this one completely. Do <laughs> you have ice cream? Uh, that's okay. I've been having the, um, you can find them at like gas stations and stuff, the little strawberry pops with like the fruit bar kind of frozen ones. Those are really, really good and strawberry is my favorite fruit, so I've been having that. Let me change one thing real quick. You might hear me talk again because of sound. Okay, good. I did change it. Change video there. Change video there. Finish. Okay. Cool. I fixed it. 
Yeah. All right. So put that to the side to dry. These have to be sanded before we can glue them. And typically when I do glue, I only apply it for the part that I'm putting the pieces on, but all of these I'm doing the whole surface because it's adding a texture. So I'm kind of doing that. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's just what it is. <laughs> Uh, filled in lots of walking, just prepping for a long- oh, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of walking that weekend. Girlfriend came down with it this past week, she's still recovering. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully she'll get better soon. Just a slight cough now, that's good. Glad to hear it. That means you can get back, back to making things soon, hopefully. Uh, worked on cosplay stuff and uploaded a painting tutorial, so that was fun. Starting to do tutorials. Very cool. I I was gonna say your painting has definitely started to get a lot better, especially with the last pistol you posted in our Discord. Okay. Put these to the side to dry. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the Lady Thor costume? Um, I don't know. I haven't, like, I like the overall look of it and I like the armor parts, but I don't have a favorite part yet. I'll have to see once I'm done making it. Because a lot of times for me, it's like the process and how it was made that makes things like my favorite. I am excited for the uh, long gauntlet part. That one, I know when it's painted is going to look really cool, but it was a pain to cut and it looks slightly flat right now just because it's it's red and gray. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Caspian, no, nah, other people can create tutorials, it's all good. Thanks, Miss Watson. Yeah. Your favorite part is a meal. <laughs> yeah, I need to bring a meal back to a convention. Be cool. Or just have like my whole head collection. I won't cosplay. I'll just come and wear my like a different head each day. We've got a meal, Moon Man, and then the Bunny Mafia head one. Just like sit where I'm like that high at the table and someone comes by and then pop up and freak people out. <laughs> All right. Now this can dry. Daniel! Ah! I thought you had work today. How are you doing? Okay, so the next pieces we need to do, the buff bunny mafia, yeah. Uh, we need to do a light sand here and here. Make Munchkin wear them. That, that's the plan, that's the plan. And then for these, we'll need to sand the inside, just like a light little rounding of the edges. Um, I do need to get my other phone because this phone is occupied by this. So yeah, you thought about doing Lady Thor, but all you can think about is sweating so much under the foam helmet. Yeah, I've considered that, uh, especially because of like having a wig with it. 
So I'll probably have it where it's like half and half, but um, for me, what I want to do for Under the Helmet is have a, instead of the mask like laying on the face, because obviously hot Texas and then foam touching your skin with makeup is going to be terrible. So um, I kind of want to do like a little rod that touches the nose, just so there's only one spot that touches the face. That's kind of my idea. Like maybe there and there or something. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you thought so too, but they didn't message you. So day off. What? Well, welcome. <laughs> uh, let's see. I actually, before we scan that, I can go ahead and attach. But I forgot to turn my AC off. So give me two seconds. I will be back. I gotta charge it though. It's like saying no. So. Hot in Texas? I know! Who would have thought? <laughs> yep, yep. Hi Tracy, welcome on. How are you? Yeah. Cheers, guys. Now, I forgot to turn my AC. When I have the window open, I try to bump the AC to 80. But I don't like it going hotter than that just because of the critters. And then I'll die. <laughs> All right. Yay, yay, yay! Uh, wizard, thank you for the $1 super chat. I appreciate it. Much love. And I will write that down. And of course, you'll be in the scrolly thing on the next one. It's cool. It's, um, I didn't know, like, all the notifications have always been, like, a yellow bar, and yours is blue for me. My Ko-Fi? Wait, what? Why am I supposed to check that instead? <laughs> I'm confused now. Explain, wizard. <laughs> You'll take Texas heat over Florida. Oh, Texas has humidity too. Depending on where you are in the south, like especially if you go to Houston, Houston is like so humid. When I went to Hallmat, the humidity actually was like pretty much the same of what I'm used to. So. Okay, I got it. Thank you, thank you. Just check it, but it's on my phone. My phone is here. <laughs> okay, I'll check it. Y'all, y'all are making me, making me check it. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I get to this thing again? Okay, I got, let's see. 
to do that. Um, thank you, but no, no. Much love, I appreciate it. Don't do it again. Don't, no, I'm just, uh, uh, from like a group like okay <laughs> hi Andy welcome on hi blue welcome on okay it uh, uh, y'all make me not have words again y'all not nervous no, no, Here's the message from Cheslin. Cheslin recommends against drinking this much coffee and says you can instead put this in your funds for your Glowforge. This gift is brought to you by the citizens of Cheslin. Uh, Bella Leaf Cosway, Daniel, uh, I, I always mess up your name, I'm sorry. Pier Pierogi, Real Adam, and Wizard. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Um, yeah, sorry, y'all have to tell me to read the message and all that. I don't understand Ko-Fi still. From Chesland and Glory! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if y'all don't know, um, my next big investment that I want to do is, uh, a Glowforge. So, yeah, that's, that's the next big thing. But I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you, um, to all of my fellow Chesland people, and, uh, I will say thank you to all of y'all in, in the thingy um, for next stream. So yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you for putting that there, wizard. Yeah, for, for me with the, the, the Kofi, it was like three different notifications. One's like the amount, one is like you've received something, and then one is like you gotta click this to see this, and it, uh, yeah. No, thank you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all just spoil me. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay. Distractoroos, distractoroos. Um, I, I write that. I, I will write it down. Write it down. Uh. Chesland group money. Thank you guys. Uh, okay, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Yeah. Outside the Cheslin Treasury Scope. The truth is we wanted to give you something for your B-Day, but time uh, caught us up and then we find out you wanted lasers, <laughs> but they are expensive, so we thought, yes, they they are, they are expensive just a wee bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Saw some things from, uh, apparently you can put a larger gift on throne and people can contribute to it. I don't know what that is. Can somebody message me in, or uh, put it in Discord so I can look into that? Because I've never heard of that platform before. So yeah. Hi, hey, great. Welcome on. I know Caspian wanted me to, like, was saying I need to update my Amazon wish list, which I kind of haven't done in years, and I kind of don't really have it located anywhere. So I'm going to do that. So that way y'all can at least have that as a place. And 
other stuff, so. Okay, back to work, thank you. Distractor, distractor. Okay, KK. So now to start assembling. It's like an Amazon wish list, but more flexible. Okay. Yeah, I'll still put it in Discord somewhere so I remember, or admin stuff. <laughs> Chess is already powerful enough. Yes, he is. Okay, uh, let us begin. Basically, we are living here with tweezers now. Now you put the mask back on and focus. I, I can wait a little bit to do the mask now. Hopefully these won't take too long. Yeah, I have not um, gone to my mailbox again. So just if anybody was curious. I did notice though on my social media, it's like for some reason Instagram is blowing up and I like my website for my Dragon Ball uh, cosplay has had like so many views for some reason. I don't have anything on that page. Um, so I'm not quite sure like what is happening, but uh, that has something there has been blowing up. I don't know if one of my things has gone on Reddit again or, or whatnot, so. That's a little better. I can see a little more, but yeah. I kind of want to wear it to Anime Matsuri, even though, so, it's weird because <laughs> Anime Matsuri is very much more, more about thirsty cosplays, I guess is the nicest way to put it, um, but I tend to not really bring that, and uh, let's be honest, my Vegeta cosplay is not that sexy whatsoever. There is zero skin shown except for my face. And I'm, I mean, unless people really like my sexy, huge eyebrows, they're gonna be bigger for this one. But um, yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna bring it there because it was just fun to be in. And I still need to do a photo shoot in it, so. TwitchCon Amsterdam was this weekend and the Costa Con. Oh, yeah, 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 I got to see that. I I didn't even realize it was happening. I woke up and put on Twitch and I, like, right off the bat was starting. I was like, oh, cool, I guess I'll watch this this morning. There was some amazing cosplays in that uh, competition. Like, for some reason, Europeans, their cosplay builds, like, in my opinion, are so much better than the American cosplayers. Like, everybody over there is just, I don't know, they're they are just, like, amazing, and they all put mine to shame, and, like, I, I just love all of, like, European cosplayers. Their stuff is just fantastic. The amount of detail, um, like, people do over there is just unreal. But yeah, uh, the only downfall of the competition was on the live stream, during the awards, they only presented the first one, and then it was like, F twitches down. It's like, rah, rah. and then um, it came back up when they were announcing the grand winner, which was good, but it was also kind of sad because I, I didn't get to see like everybody else, so yeah. But it was really good. <laughs> and no, I do not plan on um, competing in TwitchCon this year for the, is it San Jose or San, whatever, San Diego or one of those, wherever it is this year in the US, so. But there might be some other news happening soon, so. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just makes us enough, thanks, wizard. You like the Vegeta, thanks. 
Yeah, it's it's weird the Vegeta one though. Like I, I talked to Daniel about this too. Of, obviously, I'm not a dude, and I I can't like I, I I feel weird like if I'm trying to do a gender bend, it just I feel like I didn't push it enough. But then it didn't quite make it feminine enough. Like the only feminine stuff I did was heels and then I did eyelashes like fuzzy caterpillars just because that's me <laughs> but yeah um da, da, da. I, I don't know I, I kind of like kind of want to make another breastplate but have it like this one has boobs instead of like not but I'm not sure I'm also happy with how it is though and it's really easy to wear especially the wig the wig is just like I, I intended it to be glued on, so I put front lace on it when I made it, uh, the tutorial I still have to release. But um, that one, I just put it in a bun, and then just like, floop, helmet on, and then I can easily take it on and off, and it's great. And especially in the convention, because after a while it does get, like, it's heavy um, for wearing it for like five hours, so I can just slowly like, whoop, just up a little bit and relax. So it's a comfy cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> they don't have to worry about the heat, I know. And all of their scenery is just like castles. Unlike here where I have bridges in water and it's 100 and you only see like, here's pretty pictures, not the I'm dying and there's sweat everywhere. <laughs> San Diego, ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, boobs, tears, but you did Bulma instead of Vegeta. Ah, okay, yeah. We'll see, maybe next time. I, I love making Dragon Ball stuff. It's been my, let's see, I've done Margarita, I've done Bulma Bunny. I've done Android 18 and now Vegeta. So I've done four Dragon Ball stuff. I'd like to do more in the future. But I've already got like my next two planned. And those are big builds, at least in my opinion. I don't know. Is is a Gundam big build? Is, is it a big build for y'all? I don't know. <laughs> Saiyan's build for comfort, yeah. Hey Gaming Father, welcome on. Hope I had the best day ever. Oh, well, thank you very much. And same to you. Yeah. Just having fun. Making making stuff, talking to y'all while I, I try to play. Um, is it Operation where you use the tweezers and you like you have the guy on the table or whatever and you're trying to get like the stuff out of him? I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. If I can grab tabs. <laughs> yeah, I, I unfortunately, um, I can get a little bit of abs, but that requires me like actually not to be a lazy bum and all I do is cosplay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Twitch on Instagram, I'm getting you excited, but you won't be able to do Twitch content. Yeah. I'm sure, like, a lot of people aren't going to be going to it this year, too. Like, it'll be kind of hit or miss. They didn't really advertise the, um, the US one for the competition. I know I had posted something a long time ago about it, but they were just like, meh. One day we'll go back to Twitch. One day. I do appreciate those that are still supporting me on Twitch uh, with subbing, so. Yes, I kind of a big build. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know, I'm gonna be doing, uh, I've posted it, I like 
I discussed about it in our Discord. Um, if you don't know, we have an open Discord. Anybody can join. Exclamation point Discord. And... I posted it there, but it's a female Gundam. It's based off of, like, an action figure. So it's not... It's not the full armor one, if that makes sense. Okay, this one's two. But I'm excited, because I like my wings, and it's gonna have wings. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep the emotes alive. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, we still have... For people that are subbing still there, I think we still have like 10 people-ish. Maybe, maybe. Probably one of the modes you use the most on Twitch, can't lose all. <laughs> oh, that does remind me. So for uh, Anime Mitsuri, I did order a new banner for the front of my table with the new winged logo. And then I ordered, if you've seen my booths uh, in person, I have um, vertical banners that are like four feet by two feet of me in a cosplay and then it has my name on it and I only do one ofs and I sell those as well and I added one new one for this convention and it's going to be Jinx so hopefully it'll arrive in time it should be arriving I think at the end of this week um, but I'll have that one so for those that like very big banners um, we'll have that <laughs> But I did want to see if anybody, like, in Discord, if you want one of my shirts in a size extra large or extra extra large, please put it there um, so I can consider doing orders. I know I've had some people that say they're interested, but I don't just want to invest in more shirts unless there's, like, people that actually want to get them. So uh, if you do, uh, please put it in Discord. Um, yeah, and if one of my mods wants to put a notification there or, like, remind me to say it, please. Okay. You are... here. Gundam Girls. Yeah, I think it's that. You're right, Caspian. You always help me. By the time I'm done with the cosplay, I remember what it is. But it's only because I keep saying, like, I don't remember what it's called. And then y'all remind me, and then I finally remember. <laughs> Could people pre-order in larger sizes as a one-off? Um... could do that. I didn't think about that. I could do that on online. I just have to do a disclaimer saying if you're ordering, because all I have in hand is small, medium, and large, but for other sizes, I could say if you're ordering in these sizes, it'll be another two weeks before it's shipped or something. Um, I could do that. I like that idea. Thanks, Caspian. Now to remember that. <laughs> Yeah, because one of my close friends was like, I'm a six foot five, and I am not a, a size large, I am an extra large. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. He's like, I want a shirt. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Uh, real, thank you for the $20. I appreciate it as well. Nice love. <laughs> A little bit bigger and they could be life size. I mean, they're pretty much life size. I'm five foot two, so give it another another foot. Some of them are actually life size because they're close ups. Um, yeah. <laughs> I 
All right, I got it. Thank you, thank you. You will also be added to the scrolly thing on the next stream. La da 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 da. And hi, OMG, how are you today? Human shirts don't fit your giant form. Ah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, in reality, I just wanted my shirts, so I got shirts for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I do kind of want to make some more shirt designs and not have them, like, have them only available online, uh, so I don't have shirt inventory. Flying with shirts is, a uh, <laughs> it adds to weight quite a bit. <laughs> so... But I'd like to do like a Mercy shirt with like my cosplay on it and, and other ones like that. I think it'd be cool. Okay, there we go. I do crab suppers, so they might be bigger than life size. Oh. When does the um, what's it called? It it's I I'm, it just made me think of the game that's coming out, but I don't know when it's coming out. The the Honey I Shrunk the Kids game or whatever. I want I want that one. Yeah. Then I need to find people to play with again for it. I did finish Power Wash Sim. Oh, I can close the window right now. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? I'm not gluing right now. Leave the window closed. Oof. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> but, um, I did finish Power Wash Sim. It was good. Grounded, thank you. Uh, I, I was disappointed though because, so I, I got it a long, long time ago and for full release, I was expecting them to add a lot more levels. Like they still have tons of levels. So if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. But for somebody that's played every single patch, every single map that they've un, un, like released and I was expecting for a full release, them to add more than just four more levels. Uh, it was sad. It was sad. Like, it's a good story, though. They wrapped it up, and it was a good story, but I was very much like... Wah, wah. <laughs> so now I have to find another small game to play. Because I don't have time to do any, any larger games right now. So. Do conventions allow you to ship materials ahead of time, or do you, they charge for that sort of thing? Uh, it would depend on the convention and what exactly you're shipping. Typically, if you are shipping your cosplay there, that is your money. So, if you are a guest, then... Where is this one? We are missing one. Sorry, distract a rude. We're missing a piece! Okay, I might have to cut another one out. Um, but if you are a guest there, typically you have to pay for that and that comes out of like your appearance fee with them or something. Um, if you are doing a workshop there, then you kind of have to work it out with them. But if you are just an attendee, then you'll have to pay for it out of your pocket and then ship not to the actual convention, but typically you ship to a hotel there but I've never shipped anything. Um, I've, I've worked with companies that have, but it's it's a lot of hassle, uh, especially if you're shipping with the actual convention and you're running things. It all goes into a room that goes for everybody. And then you have to find your stuff and hope somebody else didn't like see, oh, there's an open box. I'll grab some stuff from it. Yeah, so, all right. Next one, and hopefully we'll find that extra piece somewhere in here. I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, or it might have ended up in here. <laughs> oh, for those that are still on Instagram, I'm actually streaming on youtube.com slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay, so leave this platform, go to YouTube, and that's where I'm talking to chat. So yeah. 
All right. Do, do, do. The bug game, yes. I know it's been out for early access, but I want like the full release. Cause that's one of those, same with like Raft. I played Raft early, I loved Raft. Now that it's full release, I hadn't had time to play it, but I did watch um, the ending of it. I'm not gonna play it now. I, nah, nah, nah. So, <laughs> uh, for granted, I'd like to to not watch the ending, preferably, uh, and play it and have the full experience. Because for that one, it's really about building and survival and exploration. So yeah. Checking out any new summer anime. Uh, let's see, I finished uh, Dress Up Darling, I finished Spy X Family, definitely recommend that one. Um, I started watching, y'all might know what it is, it's a dating simulator game where the guy is playing a dating sim video game and then he gets sucked into the world. So I've been watching that just here and there. It's just something, not really that interested, but uh, I haven't been watching that much anime otherwise. I've been doing a lot of like reality TV show lately. That and so I finished the Resident Evil show on Netflix. I really liked it. I know a lot of people did not for that one specifically. So I have watched the full playthroughs of the games and if you're going into that show expecting it to be the full story, you're gonna be let down. And I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it. But if you're going into it wanting to see a zombie, some in a zombie show that's in the Resident Evil kind of world, it's got a pretty decent story. Um, it still has the kind of quirkiness of Resident Evil every now and then of like of the puzzles in game and having to do annoying puzzles. They do like stuff like that. So they appreciated it, but they didn't make it strictly off of that. And I hope they get a second season. So I recommend it. Uh, I also watched, what was it? I think it's First Kill, which is a, basically a vampire falls in love with another, um, like, vampire slayer. It's good. It's really good. I like it. Um, what was the other one? There, there's a bunch of new stuff that came out on Netflix that I just binged in one day. So I don't remember all of him. I've had a lot of work of cutting pieces lately. So I'm more, more time watching shows than normal. And we know I watch shows all the time. So yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I missed a bunch of stuff. Uh, you saw Cliff eating. <laughs> yep, yep. Cliff ate it. He ate the piece. Is it okay talking about what cosplay guests you paid? Um, I'm not gonna say it online, like right now, cause a lot of times you're under contract. And so I don't really wanna fully talk about it. I will say if you do want to do cosplay guesting, they should at least be paying for your hotel room. And they should, in my opinion, be um, helping you get there, whether it's reimbursement for gas or they fly you there. And it'll just depend on really like, unfortunately, like your resume of like, what can you bring and stuff like that. So, but a lot of, a lot of conventions specifically for newer people uh, tend to try to take advantage of people. And so just to be aware of if they're wanting you to do 
judge the cosplay competition, do five panels, do the opening and closing ceremonies, and they're not wanting you to, they're not gonna pay you, and they're not going to provide you with a hotel or anything, then definitely say no. Do not let them take advantage of you. Do not accept just a free ticket. Um, but yeah. One day I'll, I'll do a, a video about that, yeah. Raft is better without an ending. Uh, yeah, I mean, further updates. So I like games that are crafting and that are really survival. Um, but to the point where you have to do 20 different things at once to keep going is a little much for me. And that's how it kind of turned into for like recipes, you had to have this, you had to have this, and you couldn't just like, I, I like survival games where you can focus on like this one skill tree and you can be proficient in this, not you have to do everything and like, yeah. especially if you're a solo player. Yeah, it's it got a lot. You got uh, one dollar for every time you got sucked into a video game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get addicted to games pretty bad. There's certain games that I stay away from because I know I'll be lost in that world, and that's why I watch people play them instead. watched Rent a Girlfriend. It was actually pretty good. He started on Jobless Recurrence, which is also pretty fun. I haven't heard about those. There was uh, one of the other shows I was watching. It was on Netflix and it was about an Indian girl who basically her dad passed away and so she like became paralyzed but then wasn't after a while and it was just like her teenage life kind of thing. And that one's pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Hey! Hey, I think I found the other piece. Cause, wait, there should be two there, two here. Let's see. We have two 22s. Yes, I found it. Okay, we're good. Cliff didn't eat it. He can still stay. You, you're allowed to stay, Cliff. You aren't um, being, uh, being asked to leave anymore. <laughs> Huzzah! There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really behind with everything. Trapped in a dating sim is the enemy. Ah, oh, okay, thank you. Yes, that one is it. Hi, Terrible. Welcome on. How are you? This one is this one. Imagine Tip remembering names. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably make it in the world like a lot better and I'd have better connections if I actually like remembered names of things and people. I'm so bad with names, so bad. It's probably gonna get worse too. I'll have to, when you meet me, I'll have to be like, you have to, have to have your name wrote out in the same color with the icon next to your name and then it can be like oh I know who you are otherwise I'm just like name name not sure <laughs> okay <sighs> yeah Rinser Girlfriend is a modern guy gets dumped, so he goes on a website and rents a girlfriend to go on a date. Uh, it sounds good. Is it an anime? Because that sounds like also just Japan. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a few YouTubers that have done like, where they've done it just to see the experience. You can do that in Japan. Uh, Jabalus reincarnation. Dude dies, surprise, and comes back as a kid in a fantasy world where he gets to learn magic. That one doesn't sound as interesting uh, to me, just because there's a lot of... It's the same genre that I like, but I've been watching so many different kinds of game, or I mean, uh, types of anime like that. All the sword art, the dungeon ones. I, I do need to finish... I don't remember the name, but it's really good. It's kind of like sword art, but different. Sword art and is it okay to pick up girls in a dungeon, put together, had a baby? That's that's the show. Honey Fro is uh, good at, at guessing them, so maybe maybe they'll know. Both on Crunchyroll. Okay, I'll check it out. Or put it put it in. Um, Discord, so I remember. Because I have been looking for other animes. Not hard though, but yeah. Hire an assistant for Tiff, like Devil Wars Prada, whispers Tiff. I know. I mean, uh, in, in all reality, Daniel, you're pretty much my assistant at this point for how much you help me with everything. I really appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Fun meeting at uh, Janex, oh, or I mean, uh, Dalska Nexo and presenting yourself as a random NPC. I know, I, you, I feel bad because you got my generic speech. So if I don't know who you are, um, not to be rude or anything, but at conventions, everybody gets like my generic, hi, how are you? Like, it's my typical me meeting everybody. Um, but if I know who you are, you get like, the awkward me of like, ee, and then I come out of my do, 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 robot, robot. Um, so yeah, it's like, yeah, hopefully it wasn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> what am I making? Uh, we are currently working on the character over here, which is uh, Jane Foster from Thor. This is specifically the comic version and not the movie version. And all of these pieces are for the shoes. It's the boot cover and the red parts are two millimeter EVA foam, and then the gray part is four millimeter EVA foam. And I've now just been attaching all of the pieces. So uh, we have a few more pieces to attach and sand, but yeah. Yeah, it's the same genre, yeah. Tippet cons, I'm cosplaying, look and sleep, Thor. <laughs> Like, what? I'm cosplaying, um, this character. I read it here. It's on my arm. We're all good. <laughs> yeah, feel free. If we're ever talking about anything else, um, feel free to interrupt and ask questions. Don't feel like you're in the way or anything. Uh, otherwise, for the channel and our community, we go off topic and talk about a lot of just cool animes, games, and whatever is on my mind. A lot of food. Yeah. Okay. And then these pieces, you're gonna go there. I'll probably sand these after as sometime too. Boop. So yeah, this piece, once we have the trim, this will then attach underneath it, but I need the shoes, which are coming. I got some shoes on Amazon, so. For specifically characters that have armor on their shoes, I don't like making slip covers. And these have wings on both sides of each shoe, so I kind of wanted them to be more permanently attached, just so they don't slide. Fabric slip covers are great for like basic shoe coverings and stuff, but when you get into more complicated actual armor builds on them, I don't like them. Okay, those are Dunskies. Huzzah! Alrighty, so the next part we wanna do is we're gonna check to see if my phone works. If it doesn't, then... Oh, it definitely doesn't work. I have my old phone. 
but it's it's doing some stuff. So um, we're gonna sand now. And that means for the people that are still here on Instagram, I'm gonna be turning this off because I need this to read chat. So yes, but uh, leave this platform, go to youtube.com slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. That is actually where I'm streaming. We're gonna be streaming till probably five, continuing work on this, but uh, I need the phone to read since we're going to my workbench over there. So go to YouTube. Oh, wait, 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 maybe? Oh gosh, it's like dead, dead. <laughs> maybe, 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 let me see. I might be able to pull it up on here. Uh, we are not on Twitch, we are on the YouTube. How much does my battery bank have? Not that much. We'll see. We will see, we will see. Your channel. Live. You gotta watch an ad. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't want the ad. Just skip, skip. Okay, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. My phone's gonna be like, you don't have a card in here. You're not connected, blah, blah, blah. Uh, last one I have is, so it's one behind, we'll see. We'll try to use this so that way I can keep that up, I guess, I don't know. Let me set up over there. So what we have to do now is um, all of the trim, I need to sand the inside and then we'll apply glue, we'll attach it. My phone will probably have some issues and then we'll glue it together and then we'll sand the edges and then that'll be it for these. So let's take them over there. I also wanna sand these larger circles cause they bug me that they're not. Have you decided on uh, making cosplay for chess? Cause it's a little, uh, I, so for me doing cosplays for pets, I like the idea, but I don't want to stress them out. Um, Fluff definitely would not be able to do that. Um, just she's an old lady. I don't want to dress her up. Chess is, I don't know. Um, but most likely not. Yeah, my phone's not not gonna work. So that means people on Instagram, y'all are going away. So go, go to YouTube, you'll actually watch it there. Okay, bye. Boop, boop. Okay. Huzzah! And then duck mode. <laughs> All right, flip over. Hey, it's still working. You can see a pile of mess over there from the Keyblade. Reminder, if you have not watched my stream before when I've been at my workbench, it does get a tiny bit louder, not too much louder, but uh, I do have a vacuum on and then I do have my um, foot shaft, my rotary tool, and it does create a little bit of noise just because we are sanding. So yeah, let me pull up YouTube. Do, 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 do. Hopefully it won't kick me out this time. Cool, okay. I got it. Coolio, we over here. I can read chat now. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, love to have you as part of our community. So subscribe to the channel, as well as remember to like this video while it is live to help with the YouTube algorithm. Okay. Touch-ups on the inside. 
I'm rounding the inside because that's going to be harder to stand once I move together. And I don't do the outside because we'll have to stand it flush anyway, so there's no point.
straight up and down there. And then we'll be done. We'll be back to Louie. <laughs> with like a foam piece in between or vice versa. Uh, switching to this cam. Cheers. But yeah, I'm happy, happy that there's stuff being posted in there. So. I would like that to be for our community, a place where anybody can post technique kind of things that they see or think is cool. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, next we are going to add glue to you. you. No, it's foam. Later on in the video, she goes, oh, okay. Typically I'll mark an X with the side that I want to do. Okay, there. I'll probably add just a little bit more glue just because we sanded it. Could work for this if the details were installed. Um, so it could work for it, but the thing is for if you were putting, um, so if I was to do this, and then do foam on top of it kind of thing or sandwich in between it's still gonna be more time consuming and then you're gonna have to push it into all those spaces so basically for that you'd have to lay it here and then as you go along you have to really push it in and you're more likely to rip because of how how close the pieces are but um for the part that i saw it looks like they were doing more of like a khaleesi kind of belt where they were removing the pieces so Oh, but opening the window. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Oh, I like this new place. I hate the windows though. Windows are awful. Okay, uh, respirator. Respirator. Alright. So did anybody else do anything interesting over the weekend? That they didn't share from earlier?
seem interesting, but wouldn't work for everything. Yeah. It's kind of why I didn't, like, I stopped doing a Wordler. Because a lot of things that we did, it was basically you're still using foam and then you're covering the foam with warbler. And at that point it's like, well, why don't I just do it out of foam instead? Because it's going to be quicker, there's less material cost. The only difference is it's lightweight and not hard and heavy. Norval is definitely more expensive than uh, foam. Okay. There, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of touch up around here. Just because since this is all contact cement glue already, where we sanded the foam dust is there now. So you don't have as nice of a connection point that you could have. other pieces real quick. We'll see if I actually want to do them right now or not. So these are also the pieces for the shoes. So the shoe on the side has this piece. I don't know if we stamped it on the string or not. but we can at least glue these pieces together. I don't know if I want to actually like carve pieces out right now. <laughs> Hi, uh, 3DS, with one. How are you? I'm doing okay, thanks. So these pieces, these were EVA foam and then I had made a 3D printed um, piece that we stamped into the foam. It worked out pretty well. Oh, we definitely want to clean up these circles first before I glue them though. Okay, we're gonna put those to the side. I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want like easy work right now. I don't want hardcore sanding right now. Oop la. Okay. Should be good now. have a little bit more to dry I'm then done with these so I can toss them highly recommend using baggies they help so much so much these are some that I did over the weekend that are really nice another stamp I want to do like live demonstrations of these and just have like a bunch of little stamps that I did and then like this is what this kind of thing does and this and like I, I, just seems cool to me a short little demo thing <laughs> uh, you can go back over here 
And then we have all of these pieces. I did these over the weekend too. Boop, boop. So we have to glue these and then all of these we can wait on. second and then we'll do these after yeah good good uh, making Jane Foster uh, Thor movie was good yeah it, the specific one I'm doing is not from the movie I wasn't a big fan of the breastplate armor in the movie but um I did see the movie and it was good yeah okay I'm gonna turn this back on Love and Thunder is first movie in ages you've watched on release. Yeah. It's... I hadn't been to the movie theaters in years. And uh, it was like the Jurassic one was the first one in the, that I saw with friends. And then the Thor one I saw with my family. Uh, so it was just like weird of like two movies within like a month and a half of each other. And I hadn't been to the movies in like, I don't know four or five years before that maybe longer <laughs> yeah hydrate ah uh, okay i'll do some more i'll do some more cheers guys thanks for watching and thanks for all the support i really appreciate y'all it's a cool black spot yeah yeah D does everybody rem or like who, who was there do you remember do you remember when this spot happened? Grumps. It's like patinaed into the wood too. <laughs> I'd have to, basically to clean it, I'd have to make like a spot like that big then. Yeah. All right, let us connect these pieces. That's what happens when you overheat foam and then you push it into the table. back to the theaters when No Way Home came out. Nice. Yeah, spam hydrate until... No, no you cannot because there is a timer. Haha. <laughs> Hi dear. Welcome on. How are you? I'm doing good today. Thanks. The boot. The boot. Next one. Yeah, we touched, took us an hour basically to attach all of the red pieces and do light sanding and attach this trim. And later on, we'll have to sand the edges. for the mask like pieces. <laughs> That's all it is, I just do this. And then I have like the tracer mask. It's just about the same size, surprisingly.
And I put the tweezers there just in case it was going to sit so that way it wouldn't connect on itself. Have to clean that up a little bit. We're sanding, so getting back into making cosplay props lately. Thanks. Yeah, I did at the beginning of the year a ton of cosplay props, and now I'm kind of getting back into making cosplays again, which is nice. But I'm also like really behind on all my tutorials now. I did decide though for all of my uh, Lady Thor tutorials that are going to be for this. So I'm doing, I'm going to do a helm one, I'm going to do a breastplate one, and then I'm going to do the hammer. But for these, because the paint job is really simplistic, uh, I'm just going to make them one video each instead of here's a making and then here's a painting video. So it should be less editing for me at least. Okay. Next one. make a tutorial on the dough from Snowblade Cards. Um, I mean if I made it I would but most likely not. The only time I do random builds is when I reach a like a point in the community or like a we reach some goal in the community or something or a certain following and then my members get to choose. So technically I'm still making the keyblade that the members got to choose a long time ago. I've just been busy making other stuff so it's kind of in the background. But yeah. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. So those pieces are done. Now for the next ones. This one. Oh, great. something in my eye. Yeah, it would be both a, it'd be like a full, this is how I, I made the entire thing and painted it rather than two separate videos. Yeah. Sit down. There we go. Okay. Next one. back in the 1800s. Can confirm. Cliff was there too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now the fun thing is, so all the other ones were fine and I didn't think about this until I'd already put them in the baggies. 
but technically there is a left and right one. And the pieces are flipped. So now I get to go through and see which one's which. So we'll kind of go off of that. Uh, this one's one. So. Actually, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I guess it's fine. This will be... It takes the longest doing this, unfortunately. Back in my day, we had somebody else to do this for us. but it doesn't oh yes it does okay um you are this way you are this way threes Hello, phone. I don't know what that is. Okay. I say you are here. You are here. tiny red bits just with an exacto knife and lots of shows watching lots and lots of shows it was a pain because I've had nothing but small little baggies of it what are you sticking the little design pieces to uh, this is just masking tape I just put upside down so it makes it stay in place, and then I just put paint, I mean, um, contact cement glue. I typically do this with all my small bits. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, we got the 12 and a 12. And then it's just contact cement glue that's been on it. So it's been used a few times now. same spot kind of just so it'll be easier when I put it onto the piece bunch of little dots. So I'm just going to put the dots all here. We'll see if I actually have enough room for all of them. 
All right. Those are good. Let's see. Where's my other design? There it is. So this one's the other piece. So the helm actually has a pattern on the outside and on the inside. Inside's really pretty. I think we could, well, no, let's let's not get it confusing. Let's just do one at a time. Don't 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 go fast. So then we'll just do our glues. Keep it. Waja, waja. I need to film this. Yes. And put my hair up. Yeah, my poor hair, I have so many little small pieces now, just because I've been, I don't normally put on cosplays so often, but having like the three conventions in one month and a lot of the costumes, I had to glue my wig down, like basically at my hairline. So now I have a bunch of little flyaways. I'm gonna have to sand some though, but not until later. So having the masking tape down really helps for doing this, and then just not having all of your pieces move. The glue is only on this side then. pushed it down enough. Sinking is feature tips task. Can confirm. Yeah, no, right now because of the heat and having to work with the window open and it's like the afternoon, it's now, it's now 94 uh, and it's just going to keep getting hotter. So I'm kind of trying to balance it out just a bit. Have we fired someone yet? Was there... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I missed a bunch of stuff. Sorry. First actual day of new job. So much reading. Oh, congrats on the new job again. Yeah, I'm happy you were able to post it to everybody. The glue is the tape is so you don't uh, tumble it that easily. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So once that's done, then we'll move to the next ones, which are these. And I've already preheated them before I did everything, so. Okay, you see now this is a good idea for small details versus trying to add context in it to all those tiny pieces at a time. Yes, very much so. 
So instead of holding, your hand's getting bluey. It's just do 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 done. Goes a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And then I just use tweezers to pick it up for the small pieces. Yeah. You don't think you're allowed to fire people, you just point in the direction to move. You're not playing social media. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any new stuff you're allowed to share with us? You thought we didn't have lab charts the main place to you? Oh yeah, I, there's a road, it's not the main road though, but I mean, I'm, I still have a bunch of like cops and uh, fire trucks and things. They're actually doing, I'm buying a store and they're doing construction next to the road today. So there's probably a little bit more noise. But it's not too bad. And then I have a train too. The train, you only, like, you can barely hear it. I don't think you hear it on the mic when the window's closed. So, okay, we should be good to take this off now. It's definitely getting toasty now. Man, I haven't played The Sims in years. Let's see, what was the last Sims I did? I think the last Sims I did was a mobile game. But it was like, it still had to be like almost 10 years. Hmm. I liked The Sims, but then when I started doing this full time, it was like, I'm then multi-managing like other other critters afterwards, and it's kind of like, uh, I'm not doing that anymore. So, yeah. I mean, it's for you. Uh, that's why you do this job, but not super exciting for other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can close the window. Small amounts of glue at a time. Small amounts. If I do too much, then I gotta leave the window open for a lot longer. I mean, it, sh it should still honestly be open a little bit longer, but I can't right now with the heat. It's it's a lot, so. In the mornings, I can work better, but obviously this isn't the morning anymore. Okay. Um, I can go ahead and... There. Alrighty, so technically, all of this pieces go to here. So let's start attaching. You lived in Ranla, Coastal Field Road for about 20 years. The construction never stopped. <laughs> yeah. Um, it hasn't been too bad, honestly. But it still goes. Alright. session. So, not 100% sure yet. Uh, three. Yeah, So for connecting things, I'm doing the ends first, and then I'm doing the center part. And then I've got my guide up here that's uh, numbered. 
You missed Renard? Aren't you still in Austin though? Yeah, it's weird for me though being here because I grew up in Austin, but I was on the complete opposite side, like near Slatter Lane and um, Oak Hill and things like that. So it's a lot nicer in my opinion on this side. But it's a bit more expensive. Leander, okay. <laughs> Are you in Austin too, Cliff? This one's number 11. circles at the very end. Close, San Antonio. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you for the sub and welcome to our uh, community. much construction when I lived there. It was terrible. And there's still, it's been what, like four years since I lived there or longer and they're still doing construction on that same spot. I remember they were building, there was a new building that was being built right next to my apartments. And I was so excited because it was like gonna be like a building with a store and like, alcohol and a bar and a restaurant and it's like oh this is gonna be awesome it's still being built and just like oof 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 time to investigate okay <laughs> happy investigating So if you ever need help moving again, he can wave at you as you pass by. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of family in San Antonio, so I've been used to that place all the time. Not a fan of San Antonio, though. They're, to me, just a concrete city. It's not until, like, recently they started adding trees to things, but they're very much, like, I 
just remember going there as a kid too. Compared to Austin, Austin trees are everywhere. They're in every parking lot. You build places around the trees where San Antonio is like, get rid of all the trees. And then, no, eh, we don't need a tree here. Maybe, maybe we'll put one in the neighborhood, but you don't need trees. And it was very just hot there and no shade. It's not a fan. Nope, nope, nope. I guess that makes sense since you said you met me at uh, Pack South first. Yeah. They have San Japan still there, but I stopped going to them. And then is um, Alamo City Comic Con still a thing there? I know they were having a hard time. They were not the friendliest of uh, people, to say the least. Yeah. You used to volunteer for San Japan? Oh, okay. point where I was going every year but I wasn't really interested in anything that was at it because I wasn't a guest ever at it I, I was just an attendee and even my friends they were like well we just want to see the expo hall but you could technically just go there without even a badge and just being costly in the halls and you only needed a badge to go into the expo hall and then to see the panels and I never saw any of the panels there so it's like why am I getting tickets for here? Kind of thing, like, it, it just, I don't know. So, it's kind of when I stopped going to it. All right, to add the dots, we'll see if I want to actually add all of them or not. So for me, I just did my cost tools to make all the same size. In reality, they're all different sizes, but I'm not cutting a circle in different sizes. You don't think Elmo City Comic Con is happening this year? They do have a car show, so there's that. Oh, okay. Don't think I want to add a second one there. There's supposed to be one in here. We can still do. Fill all the spots. And do I want the last one? Okay. 
Part of this will be covered by the circles though, but I'm not gonna use the last two. So they can be gone. You know if uh, C is still a thing, from what you could gather, pure speculation on their part, they wanted a giant convention but didn't achieve it fast as they wanted, so they scaled it down. Yeah, it kind of seemed how it was. Cause I, I talked to them when I, many years ago, and like, I was like, hey, I live in the area, if you need another person in here, like cosplayer, and they were very grumpy, and, and like, no. Like, I wasn't big enough for them kind of thing. It was like, okay then. So, <laughs> like, thanks, um, I won't talk to you again. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> but it might have changed since then. I do occasionally reach out to conventions and see, like, I'll, I'll send my resume and be like, hey, but not too often. Sort of what PAX wanted. PAX was huge though still, even PAX South. But I guess PAX South was their smallest compared to any of the other ones, so. Not like your enemies don't watch the details when they stomp their heads with your boot. I know. <laughs> There you go. Wish off. Do, 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 do. Okay. Next ones. Next one, next ones. I need, still need to save this though. Alrighty. So we'll do. Boop, boop, yeah. And if you're just getting here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. I am a full-time costume and prop fabricator as well as educator here on YouTube. Would love to have you as part of our community. So remember to subscribe to the channel as well as like the video while it is live to help with the YouTube algorithm. Today we are working on, right now, the helmet for Thor, Lady Thor, and this image, yeah. Okay, 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 let us start to figure this out. And again, I already, already labeled everything. This thing has been like such a lightsaber. So glad I did that. I'm gonna just go ahead and put them in piles. We're gonna make this a lot easier, yeah. Looks great so far, I love little details. E. I love details on things, and half the time I know like nobody's gonna see this. Like one thing I want to do, so you realize she has a cape, but she has a full on beautiful detailed armor back that has like the mytho- myth I can't say the word mythological tree, like the Thor one, and then like the anchor in the center and it's like so detailed and I still want to make it, even though nobody will see it except for me. And I want to have the cape where I can easily take it on and off. So that's the plan. We'll see if I actually do it or not compared to um, if time will let me. Since we're a little close for this convention. first was small, the second year grew, and the third year didn't quite grow, so they leveled off then the sickness. Oh, okay. Or beastie outside. He's nibbling on something. Doing the same thing with uh, Jai. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> now to match them up. So do same. I think I could probably do it on the same one. Maybe, maybe. said they wanted to cancel pack stuff before because it didn't meet their expectations and just had an easy way yeah I think it still could have grown more though doing for dinner tonight? I'm probably gonna just do taquitos. Want to be a bum and not really make something today. I'm trying to read that. I cannot read that. Uh. <laughs> You're at the grocery buying some stuff uh, for right now. Thanks. What is in it? I might be used to like the word differently. I might have heard it or something. You have cat food, so your kitty will eat. You don't know what you, yeah. <laughs> Fluff, I'm, I'm trying to get her to eat more food, too. So, she's not wanting to eat now that she has her little ear medicines. She's like, um, no, no. Okay, then we've got... These we can do over here. Chilla Kalis? Chilla Chilla Kilis? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? <laughs> Just like that? Okay, yeah, I, I haven't heard that then. I don't know what that is. Oh, that reminds me, are you still living with um, other people or are you living with your uh, abuelo right now? Hi, Ricardo, welcome on, how are you? We are talking about food for dinner right now. as I create a puzzle. <laughs> Room there. 
Yeah, the more glue you add to this, the less sticky it gets then. With it all. Serving fish, uh, casa de mojini tonight. <laughs> nice. I've been doing salmon a lot recently. So I wanted to break. But the last salmon I got, I tried some new, it was like an Alaskan salmon, but it, it was like a, it had some type of sauce. It was gross. And like the fish cut was not a good cut, so. I'm probably gonna get rid of it just because it was it was very bad. So basically, a fried tortilla battered in uh, red and green sauce. You can add chicken or meat for go wild and add fish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, Daniel. If you still live with others, um, I know when you were doing the construction stuff, you were you were living with other people, but I didn't know for this job if you are. Circle, circles, circle, circles, just add all the circles and then add glue and then put them wherever they want to be. Just a happy little circle, happy little circles. Okay, huzzah, we got them, now we can do the glue. <laughs> glue in those, glue in these, yeah. But that means we gotta open the window again and let in all the heat, the terrible, terrible heat. Oh, we can also glue this down. Let me trace. Well, I guess I don't need to trace it. I just need to mark which one to glue. Glue and glue. your own place but you barely at home so you probably spend the money there to contribute to the Lord and Savior check. <laughs> That's a good thought though. Yeah. Still enjoying what you're doing though? With all the sound stuff? Not working too hard? Or I guess not having them make you work too much I guess? Hopefully. The channel that we're listening to the music is a lot more calm and down lately. Like they've changed their mix.
Love your job? Good. Good, good. it curling on us. Technically doesn't mean all of us. Typically, when I do glue, I only do it where I'm attaching things, but this one I'm kind of doing as a more texture for the pieces, which is a little bit different than normal. What kind of music do you listen to when YouTube or Twitch go <laughs> decide on you? Um, I don't really listen to music besides when I'm streaming. And then in the car, like, I like listening to, like, 80s rock. And, um, like, I'll have pop stuff on, but a lot of the pop music I find annoying just because everything is just TikTok to me now. And I hear a song and I'm like, oh, that was for this video I used it on. Or it's this trend, and then I'm just kind of like, this is annoying. So, yeah. <laughs> Two festival seasons each year, one at the end of summer and one at the end of autumn. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. piece of paper. That one's really, really covered in contact. Yeah. Normally, 
only for this, I would have my brown butcher paper up, and then I'd take these pieces down, but I think it's going to be bothered with doing it today. <laughs> so, doing a little old school with doing it on just pieces of paper. to dry. I think I'm going to go use the restroom really quickly and I will be back. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video while it's live to help with the YouTube algorithm. If you are new, welcome to our channel. I'd love to have you as part of our community. So subscribe to the channel. I'll be back momentarily. Enjoy the heat.
to bring the Fluffles to say hi. She was hiding pretty well. I couldn't find her. Right? Yeah, it's hot in here. Good girl. Take the makeup. Good girl. He's like looking around for her for a few minutes. <laughs> Couldn't find her. <laughs> She's in a spot she'd never been before. So, yeah. <laughs> Got the puppy. Okay, to start doing things again. Definitely having the window open. I'm just like, this is so hot and tiring in here. Oof. Okay, this one first, no, this one first, there we go, we back, I know, we back, and close the window down too. I think this is going to be the last of gluing for me, so I'll open my door. Oh, it's just too hot right now. Maybe. Looks like I didn't put glue there. So we'll see how well that attaches. E. Okay. To start. And thanks guys for watching. Ooh, I can take my hair down again. Much better. Be a little harder to see just because it's red on red. We're basically covering it with the same pieces, so. to the puppy as well. Never mind the tribute for Chez, you bought yourself chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, my chocolate fix is, I found a brand of ice cream, one of the coconut milk ones, so I can eat it. That was just like pure chocolate, and she's like, oh, it's so good. But not as good as actual chocolate, but for me, it's like a good substitute, so, yeah. All my lovely, lovely health things, so. after him through this yeah. Oh 
shouldn't the the new Game of Thrones like um prequel isn't that coming out soon? It has like the Doctor from Doctor Who in it. The Scottish one. He was my doctor. Mm. Or at least the one that I, I know Doctor Who from. Uh, they gave us the most delicious <laughs> brownies you'd had. Yeah, I didn't quite understand like what you were saying for working there. What did you do there? Or are you allowed to tell us? Is it a secret secret? Chris is the name, uh, champion, fetch, and destroyer of toys. That's funny. Matt Smith, yeah. That sounds about right. Bow ties are cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else do any uh, Doctor Who? Or have a specific doctor? Plus 200 years of material relationships between you and us. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. with the speech. Nice. done with this one. ones uh, once we do the opposite side. Okay. This one! A little 
more stuff on that. Pretty sure at this piece I did them on the wrong ones, but oh well, nobody will know. But they won't tell because who wants to cause the huge chance right now? this build it's not complicated at all but it's a lot of tiny little pieces which are annoying paint jobs though should be super easy so it's just a base coat then silver then shadowing and then silver again and seal so found a semi workaround so you can play cyberpunk oh i didn't know you had an issue with it Mink Peter is old and you need a new one. <laughs> yeah. Could always help.
there is a fluff hair stuck in the piece. You have your laptop, don't you, Daniel? No second means no social media, streams, videos, oof, yeah. Honestly, the best decision for me ever was doing three monitors. Because one monitor has a show that I'm watching and then I have my main one and then whatever I'm working on going back with the two. I'm always using like all three of them. Even right now I have all three of them up. Six year old MacBook. Ooh. Yeah. I still have my Dino Mac. It's kind of like my backup, I guess, because it still has. It was from back in the day when Adobe you bought like the actual disc and then you had that year. You didn't have to do like a subscription. So I have one of the Adobe Illustrators and Photoshop, so it's kind of like my my backup in case like something doesn't work, I guess. Hi Daniel, uh, Banner Cosplay, welcome on. How are you today? Full step on stream month. Ah. We don't have all of our mods on right now. But Daniel's not normally on uh, our mod Daniel, so. Caspian was on earlier. Wizard is a Discord mod, not a, a YouTube mod. And then uh, Adam's not on. And also Crimson but he really, really comes on. So. A uh, comic book one. So a wee bit more detail. <laughs> and a less silly breastplate. Cause I wasn't a fan of the breastplate in the movie. You're not really here. Of course not, Cliff. Of course not. We can't let the, the secret agents um, know where you are. Yeah, right now we're doing parts on the helm for the wings. Lots and lots of tiny, tiny little pieces. This is the inside detail part, technically. Okay, now to add the dots, or we can do the trim and then dots. Trim and then dots, yeah. Cool, you really like uh, Love and Thunder, Lady Thor design, it's so sleek. Eh, eh, it, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> good but you can't game on the Mac side yeah Diablo 3 I played on my Mac back in the day it's before I had my normal PC and everything
Oh, I did finish, uh, what was it? The Boys, and then I did finish The Umbrella Academy. Both really good. So I'm now fully up to date on those shows. Done. You know, red on red. <laughs> and the other side. More details that most likely nobody will see. just because of having the window open. Okay. Watched more of this last night, or last weekend, and Monster Hunter movie, and Resident Evil movie too. <laughs> I didn't do the Resident Evil movie. Yeah, I haven't done that one yet. That one on Netflix looked like it was like a cartoon one though. I don't know if that's the one you were talking about or not. Hmm. Yeah, you had a lot of time to do stuff. It's weird, you saying you watch things. It's a little bit of extra glue on the edge that I'm peeling off, so. Am I gonna make the, the cape detachable? That is the plan. I wanna do it where, normally what I do with capes is at the ends, I'll have it where it's like a strap that goes under the arms and then clips in the back. Makes it really easy to come on and off. I would like to have it where it attaches with magnets, but we'll have to see with time um, and if I can find magnets that'll work for me. So I'm. Magnets are kind of hit or miss for me, um, depending on the weight, uh, and the cape's gonna be heavy, since it's, it's that bag down there is all my fabric, so, <laughs> I did like, I think I got like just suede stuff, but yeah, it's pretty though. Okay, circles, circly circles. You had a lot of free time, yeah. Okay, so we got a dot there. And then dot here. Then a dot here. connecting them yet?
supposed to be one in here. All right, there are the insides of the wings. So is there, that part that nobody will see because it's on the inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then technically on the outside are these. So this one then goes like that. I guess I should put them in the order. Let's see. It's gonna be that. I have to carve them still. sitting wrong but I think it's the point across so then it sits like that and then the trim and goes like that so that's what the outside looks like and then that's what the inside looks like for the the little thingies and then there's um this piece that then also connects <laughs> lots of little pieces, lots and lots. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Mm. Started watching Only Murders in the Building. It's pretty good. Finished Shield Hero. Yeah. Oh, I have hiccups. Sorry. I was expecting, so I had watched all of Shiro Taro season one, and I thought I hadn't seen season two, but apparently I did. I just remembered I didn't really like it as much, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, lots of little pieces for this. But nobody will see. You'll see, like, the inside design for about, like, that much of it if you look at the very back of my head. So nobody, nobody will see it. Okay. Yeah, this is where I was saying I like to mix kind of things. So having the stamps in like a bunch of different places, doing the so for all of these is with the wood burner, so doing that in multiple places, so it kind of all has an even look throughout the piece. I think that gives the best results when um, doing your stuff. I should still save you though. Okay, you are over. Over here! Wusha! Wusha, 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 wusha. Excuse me. Overlord is back. Did I watch that? I don't remember. I'm not sure. But you know it says that's what I was meaning, like having the back. Uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll post it in Discord so y'all can see what the back looks like, but nobody, nobody will see but me. And I'm, depending on time, I'd like to do the back, but depending on time will determine if I do it or not. It's gonna be a grainy picture. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in my YouTube live. There you go, so you can see what the back looks like. <laughs> if 
Cheers, guys. No, I don't think you watched it. Okay. Yeah, with time-wise, so basically everything has to be done by like Friday or Saturday film-wise and that'll give me enough time to do Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip will take a full day for drying and then painting on Sunday and it's gonna be pushing it but that's like yeah we'll see so if it's not looking like it I might just do a plain back because nobody's gonna see it. Um, I did the breastplate pattern on one of my mannequins and I I, I think I said it beforehand, so for breastplates for the, the boob area, with flying, these parts tend to be squished in a suitcase. So I was like doing a base of warbler just to hold them up, and I had a pre-made one that I used for like a video, a tutorial, and so I tried using that, but they're like an awkward shape. So I want to do another one, um, which means I'm going to make another pattern, so yeah. <laughs> Fancy, yep. Uh, undead player travels to another world and is overpowered and all NPCs they had in the guild uh, are now alive. Interesting. Just saw the super deep, yeah. So I mean, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, but it's, I don't know if I'll have time. <laughs> and I gotta make the pattern for it too, which is another thing. Cause that's the only image I have of it. And that was because it was an eBay listing of that specific, of the specific action figure. And so I have like an eBay image of just that part, but otherwise it's only the cape that shows. So nobody has seen it unless they like assemble it kind of thing. And so yeah. Military green pelican for flights. <laughs> no, I like, okay, so I do have, down there is my pelican suitcase. Love it, love it but uh, they add up in weight really fast, so yeah. <laughs> Hi David, welcome on. I'm doing okay today. We just finished uh, doing the ear wing parts, so yeah. And trying to figure out what I want to do. I don't really want to sand right now. Um, I do have, so I already cut out, I have my leather piece. I'm like trying to do stuff that's like not too hot right now because I really just don't want to open the window. I don't want to do more gluing yet. It is miserable right now. It's 97, so yeah, and it's 80 inside just because I had to do all the all the gluing and have the window open. So, but um, here's the belt. So tan hide, um, cow hide. Oh, there's a little dot. Weird. Hmm. But that's gonna be the belt. I have it a little larger right now, but I think it'll be good. So that. Do, do, do. And then the hammer, I'm also gonna cut leather strips to wrap it. And then I'll uh, I'll dye them. So what I need to do now is for each of these pieces. So I need to carve in the lines for all of this. Um, technically, I could wet leather it as well. We'll see. But I need to trace where my lines are first, and then we can go from there. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. I like to find details. And I just went detail oriented on everything and made it accurate. <laughs> so we'll tape it together. And thanks guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying today's stream.
tape, tape. turning off this light. It's killing me now. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oh. Oh. La, 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 la. Okay. Um. Two seconds. Okay. I just want to sample real quick. This one's a thick cowhide. Normally I use a thinner one, but my thinner one is really expensive. And this one was some really low grade. So. Okay. It's been a while since I worked in leather. <laughs> Let us go. You're basically not going to see anything. All I'm doing is like carbon so I'm tracing the line with this tool this tool is technically it has like a little L that goes into it and it's for marking a basic line for where you're gonna do your stitching for a leather but I use it to carve and I also use it for EVA foam for holding my pieces all the time we just may shift because the leather is not perfectly laying flat. And all these circles are going to be rivets that I put in. And I did them based off of the shape that I, or the size I already had. Makes the piece look so much better. Yep. <laughs> the details, it's really what makes the pieces. Like compared to the movie one, this one just has so much more detail throughout the whole entire thing. What tells you if it's a good leather to work with? Um, I mean, you can look at leather and kind of see, it depends on what you're actually using it for. For me, for doing my stuff, I try to look at the surface, is it clean? Does it have an even consistency throughout the leather? So with cow hides, typically it's an animal product and once they get it, they take it off the animal. Um, they'll stretch it and it's thicker in the center of the piece and towards the edges, it's pulled the tightest and it's the thinnest. So you can see here, see this mark? So that is for where they were pulling it. So technically that edge is thinner than going towards the center. Also the surface, some of them have, it's like your skin. So I got freckles, I got lots of freckles. So your cowhide could technically have like, this one has like slight little bumps here and there cause it was a really cheap one. And just depends on your look of what you want. Um, sometimes the back of the hide 
is you can have like so so the back's fuzzy on this one compared to other ones and this fuzz part can be really thin in some spots so that kind of helps with it um yeah specifically looking at like the veg uh cow hides veg tan which basically means like the, the bleached naked ones versus like the colored ones. My leather terminology is not that great, but I understand a lot about it. Okay. That's that line. And then I'm gonna do the top line. And we'll start working inward. Oh, also in looking at cow hides is, unlike fabric, fabric you buy and it's typically in like a rectangle or in a square, and that's how you measure a yard. With leather, it's um, different parts of the cow, so sometimes like it's a little full hides, but a lot of times it's split in half, so you'll have a straight line and then you'll have like a rough line on the other side, and um, depending on the type of leather that you get. But uh, it's a different shape. So some could be longer, some could be like more overly. Um, and then you always have to see where is the branding mark because with cows, you'll they brand the cattle. So you want to make sure that the logo is not in the center of your hide, uh, especially if you're working with patterns. Sometimes you need certain like to be wider versus longer. So I always recommend with buying leather to always get in person, especially if you're doing it for a specific pattern and not for like making a wallet or a, a purse or something when you're making actual large pieces like skirts and belts. It's the song I hate. I think that was color wrong. <laughs> I like working with leather. It's a really fun material especially with painting and how much you can manipulate it but it is an animal product and I think like a lot of people dislike that uh, and that's totally fine but I think it gives results that some materials just can't do and I always save my scraps too and I use those since leather is really pricey I was considering doing a tutorial on this part, but decided not to. Once I take this off, you still probably won't be able to see the lines. Only I will be, because the camera won't be able to pick it up most likely. And then at that point I'll have to decide if I want to um, wet leather it, or if I want to use my, I have a tool for scraping the leather, so I'll have to see. Oh, back to shoe. Your fave. 
besides foam you've said yes <laughs> yep yep I've said it painting it is just like it, it's magical painting on leather with an airbrush gun it just something that if you haven't done it like I can't even explain That's how both Mercy skirts were made. Pink Mercy and Atlantic Mercy um, were both... Actually, Atlantic Mercy was all airbrush painted. Pink Mercy, I hand painted that. It was not with airbrush paint. It was with um, airbrush... I mean, it was with leather dye, the Echo Flow. Same with uh, the Comet Medic Ziegler one. That one was all leather. started making tutorials did you get a lot of views quickly or did it take more time oh a lot of time for me tutorials weren't really made for other people they were made for me when I started it so if you look at my very beginning tutorials they weren't really like this is a guide on how you can make it it was more of this is how I made it so stop asking me questions please because Specifically for Ariel, when that one went viral, everybody was like, how do you make this? How did you make this? And I was like, uh, and I got tired of trying to answer it, so I just made, like, a slideshow of here's all the images and here's how I made it. Just because I, I couldn't really, like, I wasn't streaming at the time for that. I don't think I was. No. So a lot of my new or like my old content on YouTube for tutorials weren't really necessarily for tutorials like I do now for helping people make that prop. It was just like this is how I made it. I'd say my tutorials still don't get a lot of views. I think a good tutorial when it comes out, typically within the first few days, I get like 500 views-ish. Um, but it takes a good year for, at least on my stuff, for something to start picking up and then get a few thousand views. So don't expect like when doing tutorials, don't expect to get stuff like now. You're making stuff for a future content kind of thing. If that makes sense.
It's encouraging you. Glad it's encouraging them. <laughs> I mean, technically, I wouldn't say I really went and started doing YouTube stuff until this year. Like, I made stuff on YouTube and for YouTube, but I didn't, I didn't really try it until I switched from Twitch to YouTube um, and had my content here. Yee! Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it, and welcome to the community. done. Yeah, if you're just getting here, we are currently working on the belt for this cosplay and it's in leather and I have my pattern on top of the leather and I'm using this tool to make an indentation in the leather so I know where we're going to carve it. Watch, there is quite a bit of detail so it takes a little bit. tutorials people are more interested in ones that are easy and cheap for anybody to make and not necessarily complicated so they want more of like here's how you made something out of cardboard and out of everyday items and not using an airbrush gun and not using a soldering iron and just like using really cheap materials and still getting amazing results and you know eh, kind of hard to do but I always get with a lot of my stuff specifically wings of like well how can I make this using this material instead and it's like a lot of times I won't answer those questions just because it's like I, I can't I can't I didn't do it that way um, so I don't know how to do it that way or I mean I might know but it's like I can't really answer that question fully because I didn't do it that way um, and the materials that I used were the ones that would give the best results and so like making wings out of this material like it can work but I can't really like say exactly how um, and doing the set would be different and a lot of people want like different versions so yeah five minute cosmos yes but I'd say like if you're just starting to do them do as many as you want different types see what people like um, see what you like to do. I know doing stuff for others that you don't want to do can be like good for views here and there, but do more what you're interested in. Yeah. And like just because like people do them a different way, it doesn't mean you can't get good results. Mm -hmm. 
Like my teaching on things is typically, from what I've seen and people doing it in experience, the results this way aren't normally the best, but doing it this way is like a guaranteed win. since Fluff had an appointment this morning. So I think I'm gonna end early today. I'm gonna go take a breaky break, have a snack, turn the AC down again, and then I'll continue working on this tonight. But um, big thank you to everybody that watched and joined us for the stream today. Uh, remember to like the video while it's live. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you are new to the community, I'd love to have you as part of it. Uh, consider um, subscribing to our channel. We do streaming i'm like blah 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 right now <laughs> i typically stream on mondays and wednesdays uh, for our live crafting stream so our next stream will be this wednesday the 20th at 1 p.m central standard time we'll be continuing to work on this cosplay um my next commission is going to be anime matsuri it's in houston texas not this weekend but next weekend starting on the 28th uh, so trying to finish this cosplay in time for it, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your all of the new subs. Uh, if you'd like to show some extra support, consider joining our community and becoming a member. Uh, you get early access to all of my cosplay tutorials, three months to six months in advance, um, as well as some other perks. I greatly appreciate the support. Also, a big thank you to doo -doo -doo -doo, Wizard uh, for doing the $1. And then for Chesland, for the um, very, very grateful uh, um, donation sponsor thingy, I really appreciate that from all of y'all um, for everything that was, again, from, from Bella Cosplay, uh, Daniel, Pierre, Pierre V, I always mess up your name, I'm sorry, Real, Adam, and Wizard, I greatly appreciate it. And then from Real, also, thank you for the $20. Thank you, thank you. And we will be back on Wednesday. I'm gonna go relax now. So, yeah. Much love, guys. Bye-bye.